Hey everyone, Funk Massager here. Spelunky 2 has been out on PS4 for about two weeks now, and at the time this video is uploaded, it will either be out on PC or will be coming out in a few hours. Because of this, I thought it would be a good time to make a tips and tricks video. This will include a few more subtle details about the game that may not be obvious at first glance. Some of these tricks are from Spelunky 1, while others are brand new. This video is good for people who have held out for the PC release, or even veteran players who might learn something new they didn't know before. With that said, let's get to it. It's usually a good idea to carry an item at all times, that way you can deal with traps. With good timing, you can actually whip arrow traps. This is going to take some practice, but once you get used to the whip's delay, you'll get it down. Be careful doing this though, because it can easily backfire. Shotgun jumping from Spelunky 1 is back. If you jump at the same time as you shoot a shotgun, you'll jump one block higher than normal. The whip has a hitbox above your character. The whip also has a hitbox behind your character. You can use ropes to safely climb down on spikes. This is incredibly useful just for safety reasons or if you see an item down below that you really want to get. Or if you have the cape item, you can safely float down onto spikes without taking damage. Here's an easy strategy to kill a shopkeeper. Throw a rope directly on him, then pick up a shotgun and kill him. The ghost urn item spawns on every level. If you break it, it drops a diamond worth 5,000 gold. However, this causes the ghost to spawn immediately, and it will kill you if it touches you. One strategy you can use with a ghost urn is to go ahead and just pick it up and take it to the end of the level with you. That way, once you get to the end, you can go ahead and break it, collect your gold, and then exit the level. If you kill the boss at the end of the mines, he actually drops turkey, which will give you one heart. I recommend doing this by throwing a bomb at him. Once you're done with the mines, you have the option to go to either the jungle or the volcano. The jungle is a very high risk, high reward area. It has much harder enemies, and is much harder to navigate due to the claustrophobic nature of the level, but has much better potential for loot. One example of this is if you kill one of the giant spiders in a jungle, they're guaranteed to drop paste, which is a very useful item. The volcano is a much easier area, however there is a chance of instant kill if you land in lava, so be careful there. You can actually whip lava in the volcano area. I'm not sure why or how that even works, but hey, now you know. You can actually climb on the ball and chain trap in the volcano. If you sacrifice one pet to Kali, you'll get one random item. With enough sacrifices, you'll eventually get the Kapala item. This is an incredibly useful item that allows you to gain health by collecting blood from your enemies. If you only steal from a shop in Spelunky 2 and don't kill the shopkeeper, you'll actually be forgiven after a few levels. If you do this, a shopkeeper will still spawn at the level exit, and he will be hostile. Make sure you don't kill him. If you don't kill him, you'll get a level message in the next level that says you feel forgiven. If this happens, shopkeepers won't be hostile and you can shop with them again. If you kill a turkey with any source of fire, it'll actually just cook the turkey on the spot and drop health for you. This also works with bombs as well. The metal shield is a very underrated item in this game. It can actually deflect almost anything, including shotgun bullets. This makes it very easy to rob shopkeepers and also survive attacks from them. Also, I wasn't kidding when I said it blocks just about anything. Be extremely careful with it though, because it can crush anything, including shopkeepers, but also bomb boxes. Be careful with explosive items such as the jetpack. If they take damage, they will explode. There's actually a way to drop the item that's held on your back. Hold down and press the use item or door button. This is useful if you have an item on your back that you don't want. If you find an area that's a little too high to reach, try bouncing off an enemy. You'll get a little bit of extra height. If you have the spring shoes or the spike shoes, you can stand on these small spikes in the jungle and you won't take any damage. You can actually skip the Yeti cave in the ice caves by just jumping down below. You'll take one damage, so I do recommend having some source of flight. That way you won't take damage here. 
Not to mention, if you fall in the wrong place, well, it's not going to end well for you. However, with a bit of creativity, you can actually use the falling platforms to make it down there as well. This way you don't take fall damage. Another thing you can do is just drop down and just hope that you grab another ledge on the way down. This is incredibly risky though. Not sure why you'd skip the Yeti Caves though, because this song is a banger. Picking up a mine in the ice caves will stop it from exploding. This next tip is incredibly useful, especially if you're coming from Spelunky 1. Go into your controls and change your default movement speed from run to walk. Trust me, it'll make things much easier for you. And now for the most important tip of all. You can pet the dog in Spelunky 2. I hope you found this video helpful whether you're a new player, returning player, or a veteran player. If you learned something new, be sure to leave a comment to let me know. I'll also mention that I stream this game pretty often on my Twitch channel, which I'll link in the description below, and I'll also post on screen. Be sure to give me a follow if you want to see some Spelunky 2 gameplay. Anyway, I hope you all have a good one. Take care.